My chess friends, the latest iteration of Alpha Zero has proven to be an extraordinary chess engine, boasting an impressive 4500 ELO rating. Today I'm excited to share with you an exceptional chess match between me and Alpha Zero 19. You can avoid reality, but you cannot avoid the consequences of avoiding reality. Alpha started the game with e4, we have c5 knight f3 and d6, this is called Sicilian defense where black can choose many variations from here, d4, instead of playing the open variation of Sicilian, I played anti-queen takes d4 variation with knight f6, so knight c3 pawn exchanges on d4, I played e6 scavening in variation to block the bishop activity on this diagonal, a6 is a reasonable move to consider. Here alpha can push the pawn to g4, let me show you the variation, few moves later he will able to push his king army aggressively, white will play long castle and it will be a very comfortable position for white, but alpha zero in his own intelligence, played f4, he want to develop his pieces and play long castle, couple of moves later, genius alpha zero played a3, did you noticed? The knight is unguarded, but black can't capture the knight because bishop e3 will trap your queen in the center, Black will lose the game under 10 moves, so in this position, I played h5, bishop e2, bishop e7, bishop d2 and you still cannot capture the knight because bishop e3 move will be deadly, what about if you play queen takes b2? Therefore white will block the queen escaping route with knight b3, rook a2 is coming, so after queen takes c2 bishop, d1 targets to the queen, everything is protected by white so black has to sacrifice the queen for the rook, and white is going to spread his flag on his enemy's kingdom. The whole problem with the world is that fools and fanatics are always so certain of themselves, and wiser people so full of doubts, back to the position, I strike in the center with e4, f takes pawn will provide me a tempo with an extra move, so knight b3 bishop to g4, and after couple of moves later we have bishop back to e6, targeting to the knight and I want play knight g4 rook c8 to create problems on queenside squares, for this reason we have bishop e3 to target the queen. Any normal human will think of saving the queen but the first and stockfish, chess champion of Milky Way Galaxy so I counter him with bishop c4, queen d2 queen backs king b1 b5 and alpha played rook e1, putting the rook in front of the king so I played castle and he countered me immediately with g4, he want to push the pawn to kick out my knight and target to the h pawn, so h takes g4 and he sacrificed his another pawn, g takes h3 will create some serious problems in your position. Rook h3 will target to the pawn, you may capture the f pawn then after takes knight e5, we will do bishop exchanges on b4 to play queen h2 to target the pawn, the file will be wide open and you what, this is plus 5 position for white, queen c8 can't protect the pawn because it rook d3, triple rooks on h file, will create a tornado on king position and you will be devastated. There is only one corner of the universe you can be certain of improving, and that's your own self. So chess friends you can subscribe to my YouTube channel now where you will get amazing stockfish chess videos every day, back to the position we have g3 rook to g1 a5 rook takes pawn b4 to target the pawn, here alpha 0 played his 4500 elo rated move rook row g1, sacrificing his knight on c3 in order to play rook takes g7 check, king h8 queen to e1. Queen h4 will be a checkmate in two moves, so I captured the bishop first to protect the h5 square, queen takes e2 queen b7 queen g2, alpha is threatening to sacrifice the rook on h7, no matter what you will play, you will lose the game by queen checkmate, so we have queen takes e4 queen to g5, he want to play queen h6 after playing f5, let me show you the variation, if rook g8 happen then f5 will come to block the queen's diagonal, Queen h6 check is coming and how will you protect it? We must be willing to let go of the life we planned so as to have the life that is waiting for us, so back to the position, I played knight h7, giving back the material on e7, knight to f6 rook takes f7 and we have rook exchanges, g7 is coming so after queen h7 we have queen back to c4, now your pawns are under attack and fool people like you may think of playing pawn takes f4, to target the bishop and threatening to take the pawn, but bishop d4 will pin your knight on f6. Queen e6 is coming to target the pieces in center, so rook f8 to protect it, queen d6 to target it and touch the knight, queen e7 to protect it, queen g5 and that's it, black is completely winning the game, 
If a4 happen to target the knight then queen h6 check will destroy you, queen blocks on h7 then we will sacrifice the queen by capturing the rook, takes takes queen g7, takes and the end game will be very easy for you. My mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive, so in this position, if you play knight e5, try to block the diagonal then we will sacrifice the knight on d5, knight e4 is coming to pressure the f knight, f knight cannot move because of this, so black has to take the knight, bishop takes e5 and bishop takes knight is a threat, if you play a simple move then after doing pieces exchanges on f6 it will be a checkmate on g8, so in this position if black plays queen f7 then after takes, queen takes bishop queen h5 check, it will be a checkmate anyway. It is not enough to have a good mind, the important thing is to use it well, so back to the position, we have a4 first, after a couple of moves later we have queen to f7 to checkmate white, we have some queen dances and f takes e5, sacrificing the bishop, if you capture it then after rook e1, queen to f3 pawn takes knight, takes takes, black will face king safety problem due to his position and white is going to win completely. Alpha Zero is beating me in this game too. Oh hack, I need my new version Stockfish 17. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.